Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for being part of this weather community. All right, a few things to cover. One in particular, watching the northern Gulf, southeast U.S., parts of the Bahamas, huge buildup of rain. That's going to happen. As far as development goes, there is now a slight chance in this area. I want to track that. Plus, we have one tropical wave sliding by Jamaica right now, but also a surge of dust and some stronger tropical waves out there in the tropical Atlantic. So we will be covering that. You see some big areas of rain back through Costa Rica and Panama. Panama with that tropical wave sliding by Jamaica. We're going to see some spotty thunderstorms today, even back toward the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and Haiti. And then we'll see that area of dust that is moving in and across for a lot of us. Elsewhere out in the tropical Atlantic, you see it is getting more active. I've been highlighting this the last few days. There's a tropical wave sitting right about here and another one right about here. And a couple of them at times have been showing a little spin. I'm not seeing big development out of these, but it is a sign of a shift in the hurricane season as we we start to get deeper into the hurricane season, these are going to start to hang together. And this area here is going to move in uh, to the Caribbean by midweek. So by Wednesday, uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, Trinidad, Dominica, we'll see a better chance of some rain uh, moving in with that tropical wave. Not seeing development out of that. Now let me show you the dust. We have that in place right now. We've been seeing that. This is going to be working its way toward Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the DR tomorrow, where you're seeing this purple shading. So this is tomorrow. So it'll be leaving leaving us in Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, uh, the uh, U.S. and British Virgin Islands uh, starting to leave us. And then by the time we get into Monday, this area kind of diminishes as it works its way back towards Central America. It's not the thickest round of dust, but it is working across and a little sliver of dust trying to squeak toward Antigua, Barbuda by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. So it's not the thickest we've had, but thinking of you, if you do have breathing uh, issues already, no doubt that leads uh, to some of that. Now let's swing back to the possibility of some development. This here is the European model, and you can see it is highlighting this area back in the northern Gulf for the possibility of some development. It's not a high chance. It's showing a slight chance of development, about a 20, 30 percent chance of development in this area. Uh, so the European model seeing a little spin trying to form. I looked at the Icon German model. It's also showing a little bit of a spin. So is the American model. So most of the models are showing the uh, same thing with that chance of some development right in through here. And I want to point out this. While it's not a huge issue, it is picking up on this tropical wave that's out there right now. Not seeing big signs of development, but uh, you Usually you don't see, or at least we haven't seen a whole lot uh, out here yet this season, early in the season, uh, but we're going to start to have to watch out in that area. I got you covered, watching everything this time of year. I know uh, it's a, a busy time. Now we watch what's going on here. Let me start here, then shift up to the north, right? So step by step, Costa Rica, Panama, some of that heavier rain, parts of Nicaragua. We have that dust sliding in, but with that said, even though that dust is moving in, a couple of the storms that pop up, J uh, Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, the DR, they won't be wide spread even back through the Cayman Islands, but where we get them today, they could be strong. Let me know in the comments your location and if you get a couple stronger storms. As we work our way into tomorrow, we're seeing again that dust working across, but there's some of that rain that we're going to start to see building into the Bahamas, parts of Florida, really heavy rain starting Sunday into Monday. And that's what I'm going to zoom up to in just a second. Then by Monday, still seeing some of that rain parts of Central America. But look at that rain building right in through here, northern and central Bahamas. And then we'll keep an eye on the eastern Caribbean for those tropical waves that I showed you out in the Atlantic. Those will start to move in. So by the time we get into Tuesday of the upcoming week, it gets a little more active for us in the eastern Caribbean with some scattered showers with that new tropical wave. And look at all that rain right in through here, parts of the Keys, Cuba, northern Bahamas as that rain kind of sits around. And then as we work our way into Wednesday, that's when that new tropical wave slides in. Not super widespread rain, but we're going to get a better chance of scattered showers. Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. There's the area we're watching for development. And there is still the heavier rain. Nicaragua, especially southern zone south, we're going to watch out for that flood threat the next several days. Costa Rica, Panama monitoring that. All right, let's shift back to that development. Now, uh, an area uh, I mentioned a low. That's a, a general storm system that's trying to develop, not necessarily a tropical storm, just kind of a spin that we're watching. So let's go out on time here with these fronts diving down. They leave the extra moisture. This is Monday and you can see all of that rain building right through here. So the fronts kind of move away, but the tail end of the fronts leave some leftover moisture sometimes. We saw that with Tropical Storm Chantal. That's exactly how that ended up uh, developing. 
So this is Monday, keeping an eye on this moisture, and I'll show you the water temperatures and one of the reasons we're really watching this together. But there's that rain that builds by the time we get into Wednesday. Now, if this area of rain is around, it is a little bit more likely to kind of shift its way back toward parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle of Florida. You can see it's not showing any crazy development. That's the good news to pass along. But with that said, seeing some sort of spin out here by the middle of next week. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, middle and end of next week, a little bit of a spin that may drift its way uh, back up to the north. Maybe just a general storm system with some heavy rain, right? or it feeds off these very warm water temperatures and does try to spin up into a tropical storm. Can't rule that e out either. Uh, the models are just kind of hinting at this area in the environment. Everything I'm seeing with that is also conducive to a little development. Uh, so we'll be watching this. Each video I'll show you over the next few days, so thank you for subscribing. Each video I'll give you an update on this area and, and what I'm seeing. And if I do see development, I will give you the heads up here first. That's why I do this channel for safety. And you see the water temperature of course, they're warm this time of year. It is mid-July, but they've been warming up over the last uh, several uh, days, even more so in some spots, and super warm right in this sector. Coastal sections of Louisiana, for example, running at about 90 to even 91 degrees. That's why if there's any little spin out here, somewhere over here, it can feed off of that very warm water and then try to develop somewhat. Now, shifting over here with some of the storms, here's that front that's pulling through uh, Newfoundland, uh, moving back toward the Avalon Peninsula, leaving that leftover rain, but right in through here, parts of Ontario, Quebec, Great Lakes, more severe weather or potential, and of note, scattered areas of storms, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and where those pop up, flash flooding will be a concern. These will be bigger storms, not necessarily widespread, but look at those big storms. I'll zoom down to Texas in just a moment. Then by tomorrow, you could see here, this front starts to move uh, through. So as you get back toward parts of the Midwest, Tennessee River Valley, some heavier rain possible. There's the spot we're watching, and we'll see how much of that rain tries to get closer to Bermuda. Most of it stays just to the north or fizzles out. And then as we work our way into the week ahead, this here is Monday. That front sliding by parts of a New Brunswick Brunswick over toward Nova Scotia. There's the area we'll monitor for development mid to late week. And then the, the monsoon flow, parts of Mexico, which I'll show you in a moment, really heavy rain, keeping an eye on that flood threat back toward New Mexico, parts of Arizona, and some of those storms building back toward Colorado. Here's that zoom down look. Where we get the storms, and they may be in different spots, but where we get them, Oklahoma and Texas over the next few days, there could be some spots four, five, six inches of some rain that could could lend itself to some flash flooding uh, that I'll, I'll keep an eye out for. Now here's the kind of a bottom side of all of that as we work our way over uh, off the coast of Guatemala and El Salvador. Guatemala, uh, of course, I've been watching some of those landslides the last few days. Not seeing much in the way of development, but just kind of keeping an eye on this spin here. But you can see uh, riding back through the western spine of Mexico, really heavy rain, and then some of that drifts its way up to the north. This will cause some additional flash flooding as well. Parts of Mexico especially uh, to the uh, west of Mexico City. Now, watching out for a bit of a chop in the uh, Caribbean. Nothing too crazy, just kind of zooming through the uh, seas. This here is by Tuesday, but by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, midweek, some of those Atlantic passageways with that new tropical wave that will be moving in, we'll start to see things getting a bit uh, choppier, kind of a little bit rougher on some of the seas. But here's where that rain is going to be building, right in through this sector the next uh, few days. So there could be some really high totals uh, for or five plus inches of rain over 100 millimeters of some rain. Then as we get back toward Jamaica, uh, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Haiti, and the DR, some spots completely dry. But others, we get some of those big time downpours that could give us a quick 75 to 100 millimeters of some rain and some gusty winds with some of the storms. Spotty showers possible, St. Kitts and Nevis, Saba, Stacia, St. Martin, uh, St. Thomas, St. Croix, uh, Tortola, uh, just kind of a, a few hit or miss uh, showers around, kind of hit or miss Dominica, South Grenada yesterday, we had some of that rain. Trinidad, some spotty showers, maybe some spots getting 10, 25 millimeters of rain. Guyana though, we have a better chance of getting the 
of rain and still interior Venezuela, interior Colombia, higher rain chance. But there we go in Nicaragua, right along the Caribbean, parts of Costa Rica, some spots over 100 millimeters of some rain. Belize back through the Yucatan Peninsula. Yeah, we'll get a few scattered showers possible, but not uh, for most of us. And then there's that heavy rain right back through western Mexico, Mexico City off to the west, where we'll have some totals of 150 millimeters of rain. And there's that spot I zoomed down to earlier where you get these scattered areas of rain four to five inches of rain will no doubt be a possibility. So some isolated to scattered storms in Jamaica. Again, some of us dry, but others, the storms could be strong. So thank you for sharing that information. If you hear the thunder, uh, get inside as those winds uh, no doubt pick up. Even across the Cayman Islands, a chance of some spotty showers and a rumble of thunder possible today. Trinidad and Tobago, we have about a 30% chance, just a 20% chance in Barbados. We're kind of waiting on midweek for that next tropical wave to move in. 20 to 30% chance in St. Lucia and an isolated chance the next couple of days. 30% chance in Grenada. 30% chance will hold the next three days. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 20% chance back through Martinique. 20 to 30 percent chance in Dominica. Still some of the leftover dust around in a passing shower possible in Guadalupe. Rain chance in Tiga Barbuda, about 20 percent. It's low, but a slight chance of a shower. Watching some of that dust still around today as it shifts off to the west. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, 10 to 20 percent chance. And Guilla, St. Bart, St. Martin, Seba, Stacia. That rain chance is on the low side the next couple of days. And just a couple pop up storms possible, but still a thunderstorm possible in Puerto Rico, U.S. and British. Virgin Islands, rain chance on the lower side the next few days. The Bahamas, though, it's going to be building northern and even central Bahamas, but northern Bahamas in particular, we have some heavy rain that is going to lead to some standing water, some flooding. It got us covered over toward Freeport, New Providence, watching everything. Turks and Caicos rain chance about 20%, a 30% chance of so a passing shower or thunderstorm back through the Dominican Republic and a 20% chance in Haiti. You see, the rain chance isn't high, but watching out for a few uh, thunderstorms. Belize, a 30% chance. Uh, Ladyville, Hopkins, Belize City. We could get a few passing showers and thunderstorms, just not super widespread. 20% chance in Aruba and about a 30% chance the next couple of days. Curacao and Bonaire monitoring the flooding, though, in Guyana, northern and central zones for the higher chance of rain. 50% chance in Suriname, mainly northern sections. 40% chance scattered thunderstorms right across Cuba. There's the high chance of rain the next couple of days. Parts of Costa Rica, Panama and watching Nicaragua, southern and eastern sections for that chance of some dangerous flooding, uh, dangerous rivers, and watching out for the mudslide potential. Honduras, scattered areas of rain and storms, 60 to 70 percent chance Guatemala and El Salvador, and watching Mexico City for the possibility of even more flooding around. 30 percent chance over toward Merida and Cancun, uh, northern Colombia, 40 to 50 percent chance, 40 to 50 percent chance building, though, as we get into uh, deeper into the weekend and next week in parts of Venezuela and Bermuda. We'll keep an eye on these fronts. For the most part, they're just staying away, keeping some of that rain away. So we have some of those tropical waves in the Atlantic that will be moving toward us. I'll monitor for any signs of development and watching near the southeast U.S., the Bahamas, uh, the northern Gulf for the possibility of some development in those water temperatures. They have been climbing as we expect, but a little bit more so over the last week. That could add uh, to some fuel that could be the fuel for some of these systems. So I'm tracking everything in the environment behind Behind the scenes, got you covered right here. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Have a wonderful day ahead.